But for now, I want to know our guest anchor a little bit better and of course to know what exactly he has been doing together with his very dedicated team, the first ever mobile voting system in the world. That's what he says. We want to interview him and know how true this is. Thank you very much, Zakaria, for joining us. Yes. So tell us about the electro mobile voting system. The electro mobile voting system mm -hmm. is a system that enables voters to vote through the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. That means you do not have to cast your ballot using the paper-based manual voting system. That you can now use your mobile phone mm -hmm. to be able to vote in a general and a by-election. A good question is, right now we have allowed our banks, uh, I mean our financial institutions, mm -hmm. we can be able to access them using our mobile phone. Yes. Now why not also allow our mobile phones to be able to access the database at IEBC mm -hmm. so that we can be able to vote virtually from anywhere without necessarily having to go to the polling station. Is this actually possible? Do you think th you know, there's going to be a time in Kenya where we are actually making this um, a reality? I believe so. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Mm -hmm. if, if Kenya became the first country in the whole world to launch the Mpesa platform, mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember when it actually was being implemented, mm -hmm. people were asking, is it really going to happen that exactly. you can be able to transfer money on the phone? Yeah. How was that going to be? Mm -hmm. now, nowadays, almost virtually every bank mm -hmm. has, is, is on Mpesa. Yeah. I mean, Mpesa is accessing all your financial instructions, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, financial information. Exactly. So, in short, we are also saying it's a mobile revolution mm -hmm. is not only touching the financial, sector, it's touching in every facet of our society, okay. and much less the IEBC. Let's talk about the, uh, how you came up with the concept. Was yes. it your idea? Was it a team that came up with this idea? And why? Why did you think that, you know, we are the people who are going to be behind this project and will see it to the end? Uh, this uses the mobile voting application system is actually my idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember after the 2007 post, uh, uh, sorry, uh, post-election violence yes. that followed that time. Mm -hmm. I remember during the election time, the long queues that people had to, mm -hmm. to follow mm -hmm. from probably even people have to queue up to the end of the day. Yes, By yes. the time they reach the voting, uh, voting booth, they are told, no, it's over. It's over. You have to you come back the following day. Yes. So sometimes people have to travel up country from Nairobi, go to Muranga, mm -hmm. go to maybe yes. for Western where yes. I come from yes. and they have to go and you know it comes with spending money mm. I mean uh, it's not a, a very cheap exercise mm. uh, so you ask yourself a question if the constitution says the election should be very free and mm -hmm. fair mm -hmm. why is the election so expensive and unfair and you've mentioned something very interesting about the elections being free and fair yes. and I'd like to you know to welcome any views from you know you watching at home yes. uh, the hashtag on Twitter is Friday briefing and you know you can also text us 22155 to uh, join in the conversation you've talked about you know an election being free and fair and that's how it's supposed to be exactly can this can i hack onto this system or onto the mobile service pro provider and change things and basically rig the election is that possible uh it shouldn't be possible mm -hmm. First of all, we are trying to say that uh, Mpesa has already gone ahead of us. Uh, definitely to the point that banks were able to allow your mm -hmm. phone to access the financial information. That means they were satisfied with the security protocols applied on Mpesa. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are using Mpesa as the benchmarking mm -hmm. platform that if Mpesa has succeeded, in making it possible to access your financial information, mm -hmm. that means the security protocols applied, they are secure enough. Okay. So we are also saying if we can allow someone to access your 200 million or whatever mm -hmm. in your bank account, mm -hmm. much less your vote. All so right. we are also saying we shall also apply the same security. So program. how is it going to be? Um, like you mentioned earlier when we began the bulletin that even if you have a 3310, you'll exactly. be able to, to, to vote. Exactly. But then, I mean, uh, from the time of registration of voters, mm -hmm. um, how do we, if you can just take us through that whole process sure. to the point where you're actually doing the voting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to mention that... Uh, with this system, the biometrics are also very important. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you still need the biometrics? The biometrics are very important okay. because uh, users cannot themselves register themselves mm -hmm. in the IEB system. Mm -hmm. We are saying that uh, through biometrics at the registration center, we are able to match your ID details, uh, the personal identifiable information, mm -hmm. together with your bio information. Mm -hmm. We are able to match it at that point. Mm -hmm. So it's only at that point when 
the electoral official should be able now to add you into the IEP system, should be able now to validate your phone against the information you've provided at the registration so center. So that process has to still take place where you at go the and registration. get and re But we are saying when it comes to voting, you can do it anywhere. In your house. Exactly. And I just want us to cross over to our super wall and, yes. you know, just, you know, demonstrate it to sure. our audience, our viewers, uh, exactly. well. If sure. you can just join me here, sure. we want to do things a bit practically sure. here. Right. And um, there we go, there's our phone. All right. um, you can stay on that side, let me come here. Right. So tell us, so this is actually the process of going, of voting. Sure. So take uh, us through it. Uh, currently we are calling the mobile voting system, mm -hmm. MVS. That's the MVS, yes. mobile uh, voting system. By the time probably IEBC is able to adopt it, we shall be calling it the IEBC system. Okay. So. First and of you're all, hoping that the IEBC, are you in talks with the IEBC, you know, in for future? <laughs> sure, we've been uh, trying to talk with them, mm -hmm. and I'm sure in the coming days or probably months they mm -hmm. are going to take on this idea. Okay. So first of all, the MVS, as we are calling it right now, mm -hmm. relax for your national identity card. Mm -hmm. You should be able to provide it as it was registered at the time you register in the IEB system. Mm -hmm. So after the ID, we mm -hmm. shall have the system requesting for your voter ID. So all this you just key exactly. in the way you text you just the message. Keying, exactly, as okay. we shall demonstrate shortly. Uh -huh. So we shall have you also your voter ID being registered into the system. Mm -hmm. So the last level, it will also ask for your PIN. Uh -huh. This is a special PIN also issued by the IEBC at the time of registration. Okay. Remember, you can also change your PIN uh -huh. to something more secure. Uh -huh. So take it this way that someone actually you lost your voter's card and mm -hmm. lost your ID card. Yes, yes. What are the chances that someone also will have your PIN? Chances are very minimal, very minimal right? Exactly. So those security protocols mm -hmm. are very important actually okay. when you're validating into the system. So the PIN we have... So once pin you pin have your PIN mm -hmm. into the system, now once you enter the PIN in the system, now the next stage will be to give you the election levels from the president to the governor to the senator mm -hmm. to the MCA, mm -hmm. all the way, all mm -hmm. the election levels mm -hmm. shall be. So okay. if you are not registered in the system, if you give some wrong entries, mm -hmm. it says you are not registered. Ah, so, so that means if you know the ID number you gave was not correct. Exactly, exactly. Um, that okay, so you so have you to, re to restart the process so again. So you have to start the process again. Exactly. So moving on, you said that, uh, there we go, so please choose the election level. Sure. Then you have the president, governor, senator, member of parliament and member uh, of the county assembly. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is very interesting. Sure. So you, if it's uh, you're choosing, you're uh, electing a, a president, you choose uh, level one, just yes. the way we do it, you know, exactly. when, with the Mpesa, yeah? Simple. Uh -huh. then, and then the governor, mm -hmm. level two, senator, member of parliament. So there when you choose the president, it brings all the all candidates. the list of first candidates which are who are actually registered in the system at that time. Okay. Exactly. All right. Yes. Let's see what else. Uh, what next uh, do we have? Yes. Vote rejected. That what? means mm -hmm. you have already previously. Oh, I mean, voted. Okay. Yes. You so your vote for a uh, governor was already received previously. Previously. So, right, you so cannot that means you cannot vote twice. No double voting. No double voting. Exactly. Interesting. Yes. Um, so we're talking about, if you can just go back there, we're, sure. we're talking about, you know, the IEBC trying to adopt it. Yes. Um, you've mentioned that you're in talks with them. Sure. We've been talking with the... Uh, the manager mm -hmm. at the IT section. Uh -huh. and uh, What does he think of it? He or she think of it? I find it's quite very interesting. Because uh, most of the times, especially this public, the, the government institutions, they're very resistant to change. So how are you, you know, uh, showcasing this uh, particular project, uh, you know, innovation, technology, sy new system, so that they can actually say yes? Uh, one thing that is very clear from their point of view, they are trying to use the loophole in the law. Mm -hmm. That currently the law allows for manual balloting. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the Election Act of 2011, mm -hmm. it says a vote can be cast either by manual vote mm -hmm. or electronically. Ele okay, yes, yes. So the drafters of the Constitution, they knew, uh, they knew that at some point in the future, we shall be able to use electronic gadgets yes. to be able to cast our mobile phone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So probably the definition of electronic uh -huh. need to be expounded further to yes. include, probably to define it further uh -huh. to say even the mobile phone is an electronic gadget. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. So they are trying to say that uh, currently because it's provided for in the law that we do it uh -huh. manually. Uh -huh. So that means the parliament has got to, uh, to amend the elections uh -huh. act uh -huh. to be able to allow for all right. Electronic voting. Okay. Yes. Um, we cannot go through the, the phone, but I want us to, uh, if the camera can just you know, show us what is on the screen uh, right mm. there. I'm yes. seeing President, Governor, Senator. Mm. So this now uh, is the final kind of like tabulation. It is a tabulation. It's a very simple system. Mm -hmm. We are just trying to demonstrate the demo.
we are saying we can build a more robust, mm -hmm. a more versatile mm -hmm. system than the way you are, you are able to see here. Mm -hmm. So this is a, an, a case of RTA system mm -hmm. currently being mm -hmm. used by IBC, yes, reserve yes. transmission system. Yes, yes. Remember, it failed terribly <laughs> in the last election. <laughs> they said for some reason, the phone batteries they had to exactly do it again exactly and exactly do it manually. Ha, yeah how about being able to conclude an election in Kenya just in a matter of probably 2 to 3 hours mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. are done that's possible very possible right now wow okay exactly. great um so what you're seeing on the screen is um, you know the kind of tabulation that you would have exactly. essentially have uh, when an election, you know, is over and people have already voted exactly. and now the counting is almost exactly. starting. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yes. So how long did it take for you to come up with this particular um, technology? We have taken approximately one and a half years mm -hmm. building and uh, also half my colleagues out there. Uh, Stua from Egypt, mm -hmm. Mina, uh, Mina Abraham and mm -hmm. Abraham Anis, mm -hmm. and also have got my Kenyan colleague here okay. called Gerard Gedanda, okay. and he's been a very good colleague. So we've been working collaboratively, mm -hmm. been engaging, and uh, trying to share the information. But we are saying this is just a model, mm -hmm. this is just a demo. Mm -hmm. We can build a more robust system wow. than the what you're able to see. Wow, brilliant! Yes. And it's yes. Kenyans doing this. <laughs> exactly. So this has not been done anywhere else in the country. No country, in the, in country the world. has ever pioneered USSD mobile voting. Mm -hmm. No country. Okay. Actually, the country that came close to probably virtual voting mm -hmm. was Estonia, Estonia in 2005. Yes. Mm -hmm. They attempted electronic, and uh, I remember looking at the statistics. Probably only just five percent yes. of the voters mm -hmm. do it. Mm. And you know the shortcomings of uh, internet-based application yes. is that the reach is very limited. Exactly. Uh, why is a so this one is not internet-based? Not internet-based. Okay. Uh, look at it from this way. Safaricom has implemented a USSD mm -hmm. application. Maybe you can explain a USSD for people who do not understand at home. Oh, USSD <laughs> application doesn't require, it just depends on a standard GSM network. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really have to require you internet. to have data bundles uh -huh. on your phone to uh -huh. be able to vote. So y when your area probably is very far away from the boosters, the internet mm. boosters, you don't okay. really need that. You can still vote. Yeah, exactly. The way you are able to do your MPESA transactions, mm -hmm. that's without what you're saying. Without the internet. Exactly. You can be able to vote without the internet, exactly. which is important. Exactly.